Oh yeah, I love dealing with kids. Just not other drivers. Mike Burks drives a school bus for South Harrison Community Schools and says at least once a week, drivers fly past his bus, even with the stop arm out. That I think the large majority of drivers are distracted. They're not paying attention. And they need to do that because just in, in a second or two, there could be a horrible tragedy. But before that happened, Superintendent of Schools Dr. Mark Eastridge wanted a solution, and that didn't come cheap. Thanks to a partnership with the Harrison County Prosecutor, funds seized from drug deals were used to purchase the high-definition cameras to record drivers breaking the law. And that's a law that got a little tougher July 1st. Previously, ignoring a bus stop's arm was punishable by just a ticket. Now, Otto Schalk says it could mean a suspended license. So while the new law was extremely important, we still needed the technology to use in the courtroom to prove our case. These cameras here give us that ability. But just how good is this technology? We decided to put it to the test. So with a bus in a parking lot and me behind the wheel, we're about to see what exactly that video captures. Not only is my face clearly visible, the car's license plate is too, and that's at a moderate speed. But Otto Schalk says speed doesn't matter when it comes to getting a good picture. When this bus is stationary, 110 miles an hour, something can go by and we can get a license plate. Mike Burke says it's technology he's grateful to have as the school year begins. We want the kids to get home safe, and the, we know the parents do, and the grandparents, and we're all for that. In Corden, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.